All right, I am very excited for today's video. This one came to me at 12 a.m., was laying in bed. I was in CVS earlier that day and I was looking at all the products kind of on the bottom shelves that I never even have looked at before, let alone tried out. I was thinking there's gotta be some good products in there. So I basically went ham in CVS. Let me tell you, the drugstore is not cheap anymore. When I got the receipt, I was like, am I in Sephora right now? What is going on? But basically I did a full face look using all hidden drugstore products. Obviously the products that you have never noticed before are gonna be different for different people. But all of these products are ones that I've never tried, had never really even looked at before. So I'm putting them to the test in this video, doing a full face of first impressions on them. I tried my best to get a mix of different brands in here and products, found a couple gems I'm excited for you guys to see. If you like this video idea and you're excited to watch, give this video a thumbs up. So if you wanna see how I got this look using all random drugstore products you're in the right place just keep watching all right let's dig into my giant CVS bag here I've already washed my face but we're gonna use the CVS brand makeup perfecting face primer it says it compares to L'Oreal studio secrets professional magic perfecting base I've definitely seen that L'Oreal one before but I didn't know that CVS made like a dupe for it my skin has been getting bad again I don't know what's going on like you guys saw it was totally clear for like a couple months and now it's breaking out again I have some like big cystic ones down here and I even have some on my face forehead which before I didn't even get on my forehead so who knows man oh this is a total different consistency than I was expecting Ooh, this is cool I thought it was gonna feel kind of like a moisturizer but this is definitely more not silicone but it just feels super super soft oh this feels good so I got a few different foundations to try this one I'm really interested in I'm not sure if this is a powder or a cream to powder but this is the Revlon new complexion one step the thing that drew me in about this one is that it said it was full coverage on the little display thing if I can get this thing open if it is a powder I got two other liquid options this is the all made clear complexion four-in-one blemish eraser and then L'Oreal visible lift serum foundation I haven't heard a lot about either of these products so I'll probably be doing foundation Fridays on them either way this does say it's supposed to cover blemishes so i'm thinking this one might have better coverage but let's see about this red one thing holy shit this is okay this is hella dark for me what did i get the wrong shade no way in hell this is the lightest shade zero one ivory beige this is the lightest shade it is a cream though so i'm not gonna use that as a bronzer actually i'm going to pop this back in and return this thing glad i got backups so i think i'm gonna try the all may one just because i really want to see how much this covers this is the lightest shade 100 ivory and this has salicylic acid in it which i thought was really cool too looks like a normal liquid consistency not too thick not too runny i'm just gonna go in with my morphe e31 brush to pull this guy on oh dude that is pretty good coverage the shade of this is actually looking like a really nice match. Right now it has a luminous finish. We'll see if it dries down a little bit. I have a ton of redness, scarring, acne right now, so this is actually covering much better than I thought. I would say we're getting about high medium coverage. I really like the shade of this. The finish looks really nice and like a satin finish. It's not covering my major red acne spots off of one layer, but we can go in with concealer. Okay, I'm very pleasantly surprised right now. It looks really nice. It's sitting really nice on the skin. Doesn't look textured anywhere. If you're new here, I do tons of foundation videos. Every Friday I do Foundation Friday. I do a series called 15 Days of Foundation on my channel. This looks bomb, you guys. I'll update you guys in the description box how this one wears throughout the day. So one of the only concealers I found that I haven't really heard a whole lot about is the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer. This is in the shade 115 Fair. I'm hoping that this is light enough. It's not looking too light. Finding light drugstore concealers is pretty tricky. I usually mix in the NYX Lavender Concealer. That really helps to lighten everything. Probably should have made sure this was good before I just put it on the center of my face. It feels really cooling. It feels kind of cool. Oh no. Oh no. What is happening? Hold up. Maybe I need to blend my finger? Okay, this sets like super quick. I'm gonna quickly blend this out with my finger. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it just totally got weird texture and like rubbed away the foundation underneath. Whoa, can you guys see this? What is happening? This dries in about 0.2 seconds. I actually need to add a little bit more to the center of my face just so I can hopefully blend this out. This is weird. Even when I'm blending it with my finger, 
It's looking a little funky. I wonder if it's reacting weird with the salicylic acid in the foundation. Definitely don't like how quickly this sets, but now that it's under my eyes, it isn't super brightening on my skin. This is almost the same shade as my foundation. I would probably pass on this one. So I got two powder options because I want to try both of these at some point. The first is the Maybelline Shine Free Oil Control Loose Powder. This is another loose powder. This is the All May Smart Shade 100 Light Pale. This is cool because it's supposed to be shade adjusting. So I kind of want to try this one. We might just do double all me right now I'll use this one in a shadow and schmooze or something so you can see what I think we get a little puff And now that the foundation's been on for probably I don't know five minutes It still has a really pretty luminous finish, but it does feel like it's starting to set a little bit more I don't know what I'm setting my under eyes with didn't really think that through I'm gonna go into the morphe e44 brush. This is kind of like a more firm Brush so I like it for powder to get all the coverage I can Whoa, this is pretty dark I don't know when this is supposed to adjust. You can start anytime. Do you see any adjusting happening? It looks and feels really nice and smooth, but it did just take away the really pretty finish that I had from the foundation. Okay, this is the only step I'm gonna cheat a little bit on. I'm taking my Physicians Formula Powder just to set the under eye. I think we definitely need some brightening now that my face is a little dark. Looking alive. This one for me, since it's too dark, I probably won't wear this again, but my face does look very nice and smooth. Eyebrows, I got a couple different products to try. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil. What shade is this? Brunettes do it better. Have I used this before? I feel like I remember that name. And this is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. I usually really like the really tiny retractable kind of pencils, so I think I'm gonna go in with this. This is in the shade 255 Soft Brown. When I first started YouTube, the Maybelline pencil in like the green with the green cap was my favorite, and I looked to see if I could find it again. They still have it, but they got rid of my one shade that I used to use. I used to really like that one. So you get a little spoolie guy on one end. This doesn't feel quite as waxy as some of their pencils. Not bad, but I definitely like the LA Girl new micro brow pencil better than this. So to contour, I'm actually gonna try this MUA Complete Brow Kit. This is a powdered brow product. For pale skin, a lot of times the best option, especially at the drugstore, is using an eyebrow powder. The e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the light shade is amazing as a contour. It's one of my favorite contour products. And this one looks nice. It doesn't look too ashy, hopefully. I think this comes with a little brow gel or something. But yeah, this looks like a clear brow gel. Let's use that. Mm, okay. I'm obviously going in with this lightest shade to contour. Let's hope this isn't too ashy. Taking my Wet n Wild contour brush. Love this thing. Ooh, oh yeah. Not too ashy, not too warm. We might have found a winner, folks. I like this one, we'll definitely reach for this again. I feel like one of the few blushes that I hadn't tried from the drugstore was the All May Smart Shade Powder Blush. This is in the shade 20 Nude Mauve. Taking my Morphe Y5 brush. I think the gold collection is back in stock. I like these better than the new Elite collection that they came out with, the red haired bristles. These feel almost exactly like the original Elite collection. They also look like it, so I don't know. Let's just swirl. Ooh, that's pretty. All May, look at you. It's easy to blend out. I like the shade, not too pink, not too mauve purple. If your skin tone is a little bit darker than mine, you could probably go in with these bottom two shades and just skip the top light or two. Surprisingly enough, I don't think I've ever tried this. This is what I'm gonna be using as a highlighter. And this is the Physicians Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls. Why does Physicians Formula always have 10,000 names for one thing? This is in the shade Beige Pearl. Since that powder totally mattified my face, I'm gonna go to town with this highlighter and hope it's good. Whoa, whoa, okay. That's intense. I just got way too much. Yeah, you need like a tiny, tiny bit of this. This one, I think it just went a little ham, but this one looks a little bit glittery. You can kind of see my texture on my cheekbone. This side looks a lot more natural. Not natural, but less, you know, in your face. Not bad, might be a little bit glittery for my liking. I feel like the people who like really, really intense highlights, you'd probably love this. I love the Physicians Formula Shimmer Brick. That's one of my favorite, favorite products in natural nude, it's amazing. All right, on to the eyes. For primer, I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild little pencil thing. This is in the shade 130 Pixie Cream Shadow Pencil. Bring this a little bit on the inner corner because this is a nice like light pink champagne color. It doesn't feel very cream at all. It's kind of like a powder. I might actually put this a little bit right under my brow bone. 
We'll see how shadow blends on top of that right now. I'm not super into it. I haven't heard anything about this. This is the MUA Professional Nude Eyeshadow Palette. This video, I'm pretty sure, is the first time I'm trying anything from the MUA brand. They're a little bit on the pricier side for the drugstore. I think this was like 15 or 20 bucks maybe. But I mean, that's pretty much what the L'Oreal eyeshadow palettes are. I'm pretty sure they had one that had some like gem tones in it or something, but I just wanted to do more of a neutral look today. It comes with a brush. Not bad. This would cover like one tenth of your eyeball, but you could use it for the inner corner or something. I'm gonna start out with this nude, where is my brush? Light nude shade right here. You could probably use the same eyebrow product that I use for contour for this step as well. It's a little bit more of a powdery eyeshadow. This like brownish reddish shade looks kind of pretty. I might use that on the lid. I think I'm gonna actually put that into the crease because it does look pretty matte when you blend it out. We'll just see what happens. Eh, nope, not matte. Okay, so I mean, I'm gonna just blend this onto my lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my finger and see, oh yeah, way better pay off with your finger. Kinda wanna do the no brush challenge. I feel like that'd be really fun. Someone tweeted me today a video of a girl doing the dad does my voiceover video and I think that would be freaking hilarious. Let me know if you guys would wanna see that when I go home. My dad would probably love doing that. Before I do the eyeshadow on the bottom, I'm gonna use this Milani Supreme Coal Eyeliner. Never seen this, I really like the gold packaging though. Lights on the waterline really quick and easily. I'm gonna tight line a little bit at the top. I'm gonna blend that black eyeliner out a little bit with the black shadow in this palette. Then I'm gonna take that second over brown shade right here. These are blending really easily. They're a tiny bit powdery for what I usually like in eyeshadow, but they're blending out totally fine. I want that warmth down here too, so I'm gonna take that same reddish shade and just blend a little bit. For the price, I think the Wet n Wild eyeshadows are better. I only picked up one liquid eyeliner, so I'm hoping this one works. This is Revlon Color Stay Skinny, and it's basically just a liquid liner with a 0.1 millimeter skinny tip. Hopefully I can wing this thing. Wish me luck. Because of how flimsy this tip is, it's really hard to get like a straight wing. So I am gonna be putting falsies on, but I wanna do a single coat of mascara beforehand. This is the Rimmel Volume Colorist. It says it has lash tint complex, so it's actually supposed to help tint your lashes at the same time. It has like a tree-shaped kind of cone brush to it. I picked a Rimmel mascara because I feel like a lot of people are familiar with Maybelline and CoverGirl mascaras. Not loving it. Not hating it, looks pretty average to me. Always hard to see lashes when you have a ton of eyeliner on. They do look nice and separated, which I like, but I don't feel like I got a whole lot of volume. Speaking of volume, the lashes I'm going in with are the Ardell Mega Volume Lashes. These are in 250, and they're actually doubled up lashes. There's like a lash on top of a lash, basically. I almost went with MUA lashes, but when I looked at them up close, they looked kind of cheap, and the bands looked super thick. So obviously, a lot of people have heard of Ardell lashes, but I don't think I've ever actually tried the double up kind. Okay, falsies are on. I like that these are dramatic, but they're still kind of wispy, fluttery at the top. I'm gonna attempt to use the same mascara for my bottom lashes. In my head when I was shopping for all this, I thought I was gonna do a very natural eye. <laughs> that clearly didn't happen, so I'm hoping the lipstick options I have will work. I have the L'Oreal 601 Nude Ballet. I don't think I've ever tried this. I don't remember this packaging at all. So this is actually like a liquid lipstick slash maybe even gloss. Is this a gloss? What am I doing? It doesn't say on here. I can't remember if this is supposed to be a liquid lipstick or a gloss. Smells uh, interesting. This is for sure a lipstick. This is the L'Oreal Forever Frappe 814. Oh, it's almost like a brick red. My other option is kind of doing a foundation lip and then putting this MUA gloss over top, which I kind of want to do. I feel like a nude nude could look kind of cool right now. I think I'm gonna do that. So since I don't have a nude lipstick right now, I'm actually just gonna put a tiny bit of foundation on this concealer brush and blend it on. I'm gonna first take this gloss and see how it looks. And then if I need to warm it up a little bit or darken it, I'll go in with this L'Oreal one. This shade looks super pretty to me. This is the MUA Luminizing Lip Gloss in Baby Pink. As soon as I saw this, threw it in my cart. Rare to see this light of glosses. Smells like minty chemicals. Whoa, this is like circa 2010. I mean, it's a really light nude, which is awesome, but I feel like since my face is kind of dark right now, it looks a little intense. I'm totally into this color, just with the rest, I think it's a little bit light right now. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit of this L'Oreal. Ooh, this glides on really nice. 
doesn't feel sticky at all and it has a really nice sheen to it. I just wanna keep rubbing this on my lips. I actually really like the shade of this too. It's not too peach, not too pink. It might be because I have a little bit of this mixed in with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. I think I am most excited about the foundation and then those two last lip products I used. Also really like the blush and the eyebrow kit as a contour. I think those are my top things out of all this. All the products I used in this video will be linked down below like always. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. It'll notify you every time I put up a new video. I upload pretty much Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Foundation Fridays on Friday. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.